Hey everybody and welcome to episode number 146 of the Daily Dose of Drupal with Code Karate. I'm Adam and today we're going to be covering the recapture module. Now the recapture module is an add-on module built by Google to enhance the captcha module. Um, hence the name recapture. Um, before we get started though, um, as always, you can follow myself on Twitter at Adam Laring. Um, you can also follow Shane at smthomas3. Um, and also, make sure to head over to CodeKarate.com, and but there you can sign up for our newsletter, get our latest post, as well as any tips and tricks we stumble across over the past month. Um, we don't worry, we don't burden your email with a ton of sends, um, just a few here and there, um, letting you know what's going on and staying up to date. All right, back to the recapture module. So on Drupal org you can download the recapture module it has a version for both Drupal 7 and Drupal 6 we're going to obviously be using Drupal 7 uh, highly recommend moving everything to Drupal 7 um, just because of the support and um, Drupal 8 being coming out um, it, it recapture module does depend on the capture module and also you want to make sure you're using an updated version of jQuery um, you don't technically need this module if you are using the updated version but if you're not um, this module will get you up to date um, so to get started, we download those two modules, and then we just need to enable them on our site. So we head on over to our modules page, and from there we can enable them. Um, we're only going to use the CAPTCHA and the recapture module. There is two other ones in here. Um, the image CAPTCHA, which will show an image on the CAPTCHA, but we're not actually using that module. And then the mail hide recapture which is a kind of a fancy way to help protect some email addresses, but we won't be covering those today. So let's enable those two modules. Once they're enabled, you can go into configuration and then configure the module. So you can go into CAPTCHA, and then there you'll see there's a couple different tabs on the top. There's a CAPTCHA and then the recapture module. Again, we're using the recapture module being that it's an add-on to the CAPTCHA module, but we'll still use some settings within the CAPTCHA. But to get started, go over the recapture. And in here, there's two important fields. There's a public and a private key. Um, as I said earlier, this is a recapture supported by Google, and they just want to make sure that you uh, register before using the recapture module. So pretty simple. So clicking on that link loads um, this page right here. And then from there, you can get the recapture. And then all you need to do is sign up now and enter your domain name that you want to use it on. I've actually already done that, so I will, if you see below here, I have added um, the domain that I'm using as well as Code Karate's. So you can just simply click on that link, um, add the, grab the public key, paste that in, and then we can grab the private key, and paste that in. Um, the rest of the default settings will work for now. One thing you can note is there is a theme setting down here where you can play around with different colors and things with the capture module. But go ahead and save that. It says everything checks out all right. Um, then we can head back to the capture page here. And then once that's set up, you have to tell um, the recapture where you want it to show up. And like I said, the recapture works off of the capture module. So for example, um, the comment node form. So basically these are the comment forms for our different content types. So we want the recapture module to show up on those. Um, you, like I said, you can also use um, the capture module if you want. So like on the user registration form, if you wanted to use um, the default capture module challenge, you could do that, or the math capture, you could do that as well. For this video, we're focusing just on the recapture module. So we're just going to test it out on the CAPTCHA, or on the, excuse me, on the comment forms for those three content types. Um, the, the bunch of other settings you can kind of play around with. Um, nothing really important being that we are using the recapture module here and not the default CAPTCHA. So it kind of overrides all of this stuff anyway. So let's go ahead and save the configuration. And then all you need to do to test it is uh, log out of your site. Typically, um, it always kind of depends on your permissions, whether comments are allowed or not. But if you log out of your site here, and then you go to a node page, at the bottom of the node page on the comment form, 
You'll see right here is the CAPTCHA, and this is using the reCAPTCHA module. Um, so this is again supported by Google, but this would be to keep out spam um, and all the robots that are trying to post um, not wanted comments. So anyway, we can enter this in. Uh, this one, the reCAPTCHA module is actually a little bit better than the uh, just plain CAPTCHA module because it does a little bit more of the um, algorithmic learning than the other modules do. So it kind of helps um, learn a little bit more and not um, directly do one size fits all for all people. Um, so we can enter our and then we can go ahead and save. And then it says it went through. Um, we have a site currently set up not to allow um, comments to go through without approval but it still let us post the comment itself um, without throwing an error. So anyway, that is the reCAPTCHA module. Again, you can just head over to drupal.org and download that. Make sure to download the CAPTCHA module as well. And, you know, have fun limiting all the spam bots on your site. Again, um, you can follow me at Adam Laring on Twitter. I appreciate that. As well as head over to the uh, codekarate.com site, sign up for the newsletter, um, stay informed, and happy coding. Talk to you guys later.